generally generally token a token is nothing but breaking a big problem into small small pieces where each piece is called a token i am repeat, repeating my dear students suppose for example you are writing a program to find sum of two numbers sum of two numbers in order to write the program for sum of two numbers you have written five lines of program that five lines has been broken down into small small pieces where each piece is called a token right so in python a program is broken down into different different tokens those tokens are keywords identifiers literals and operators you can see all these four which comes under python tokens in a program you can find keywords you can find identifiers you can find literals and you can find operators these four you can able to see in each and every that i'll tell you one after the other what are keywords keywords are also known as reserved words reserved it is reserved for some application for example if else for while to int float char everything are called keywords right they have a specific meaning you can't change the meaning right it is already inbuilt the keywords are already inbuilt in the compiler or interpreter you can't change the definition of the keyword right it is fixed for example if i say if you can't change the meaning if is nothing but a condition exactly whatever in the java or c language your keywords is also the same right if if i say if it means the condition it is expecting a condition you can't change the meaning by writing some uh, other bullshit you can't you can't change the meaning that is called a keyword i'm repeating a keyword is a reserved word which has a specific meaning and that meaning you can't change anywhere or elsewhere that is called a keyword right i'll show you what are the different keywords these are the various keywords what you are going to see in python programming could you able to see the screen my dear students like for see you can see for if for if del elif finally else these are all your keywords these are all you are going to see in these two days all these you can see in these two days these are called your keywords they have a specific meaning and you can't change that meaning anywhere or elsewhere right yes is my voice is breaking or is it fine coordinators anyone please respond it's fine sir yeah fine okay so this is about keyword next identifiers don't worry my dear students in the, this is these are all the basics once you start writing the programs by your own you will feel very happy uh, you 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 will feel somewhat uh, exciting in writing programs right anyways identifiers identifiers are used to give the names to the variables variables are nothing but the x y z a b c some simple interest etc etc these hold some value variables are used to show hold some value right the names which are given to the variables are called identifiers right i am repeating identifiers are the names given to your variables you have you you, are, you suppose for example you were born in the year 2002 on particular on so and so day after you don't know to the society that is some ex you are born that's it how come you know that you are born your mother and father will give a name to you like rakesh or ramesh or shiva or whatever it may be it it is used to identify you to this world right the name given to you is called an identifier your father has to identify you or your brother has to identify you how can he identify you only with the help of your name right that's what an identifier is the name given to a variable that is called an identifier i'll tell you the rules once we start writing the program i'll tell you i'll tell you the rules right next literals literals are nothing but uh, the numbers amma constants or literals whatever it may be like 2.5 is a floating value one is an integer value etc these are all called literals we have two types of literals one is integer literals and the floating literals 
integer like minus infinity to plus infinity and floating literals uh, like decimal values these are called literals you can see those in the program next operators now a very important task is operators an operator is nothing but an operation performed between operands an operator is an operation performed between operands operand is nothing but a b c or x y z these are all called operands and the operator is nothing but an operation performed between these operands for example x plus y x and y are called what operands x and y are called operands plus is called plus is called operator exactly an operator is an operation performed between operands that is called an operator x plus y plus is an operator x and y are called operands right my dear students yes very good right we'll see the next slide so these are called python tokens i'm repeating once again a token is nothing but if anyone asks you what is a token a token is nothing but i'll break my big problem into small small pieces now i'll, I'll tell you with a small example you have, you went to a birthday party of your friend where he wants you to eat the whole 1 kg of cake in a one hour can you eat a whole kg of cake in a single hour no one no one can eat. if he is a kumbhakarna he can eat other people a human can't eat a kg or two kgs of a cake in a single attempt what you'll do what you'll do my dear students what you'll do you'll break that cake into small small pieces if you eat that piece one after the other will it be easy or will you put the whole two kgs cake in the mouth is easy tell me exactly breaking the cake into pieces that is called a token if anyone ask you tell that in the same way if you write 100 lines of program also but the interpreter the python compiler or interpreter takes line by line it eats line by line only so it can digest it can digest that is called a token so basically how many tokens are uh, classified actually five we have one i have not explained variables variables is also a token variables keywords identifiers literals and operators right we'll see one after the other while writing the programs very 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 important concept very 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 important concept please try to understand data types